Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked on Ark Survival Evolved. And there have been a lot of changes recently. Tons with the game, kind of with the the balance of the dinos and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure if you've logged into your servers or you've seen other things, you've kind of seen how low your stats on your dinos are now. I'm not going to go into that in too in-depth. Poor Apollo, he's so low. Oh my goodness. It's so sad to see our, our animals so low. But it's going to kind of bring in some different tactics and different things. So I'm kind of excited to see what that brings. Because there could always be some new stuff that they're planning. Who knows? I'm sure that the devs will figure it out and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. But for now, our prized possessions, like my best uh, animals, probably won't be seeing too much time outdoors. But what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be going out now that the... Uh, can we see outside? I think it's kind of dark out. Now that the Winter Wonderland is gone, as you can see, I'm super excited to get out and just kind of go back to my favorite locations. There's a lot of locations on this map that are just great, and I wish that I would have built at some of them, but what are you going to do? You can only do so much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out. I'm going to show you the five, at least my five, best base building locations. Now, I ranked them on four, in kind of four categories. Now, one is the metal. Now, metal is really important for tons of stuff, as you can see, building, structures, appliances, ammo, everything. So, I'd say metal is one of the top drivers of where you want to put a base. Um, and it kind of differs on PvE and PvP as well. So, we've also got them ranked on the resources other than metal that they have, safety, and then convenience of where they are. So, I'm going to go out on the map, we're going to search for these locations, and I'll show you just kind of how they are and how they work. Coming in at number 5 is the Tundra Edge here. Now I chose this location because it's in between the Northwest Mountain right there and the Volcano on our other side. Now this makes for tons of metal. Now you can get tons of metal from both these areas along the whole sides and kind of in the whole area. Now the Tundra metal actually yields more because it's in a more dangerous area so you can actually get more metal from those nodes along with obsidian as for other resources this is a great spot because it has both oil all around it and it also has like I said the high amounts of obsidian now stone is also all over the place as for wood now this is a little safer down here because it's a little further from the edge of the mountains if you don't prefer to build in the water like on those little islands right there, there's actually a nice spot right along this area as well. This is a nice flat spot that you can carve out and kind of build a really cool base on. Now that is number five, and we're moving on to number four. Number four is going to be the Ice Islands, just north of number five. This area is crazy. With all kinds of different shapes and sizes of islands, you can build pretty much any kind of structure that you want. Now, as you can see, there's oil everywhere. Also, penguins are safe out here. They're not going to get killed by anything, so they build up a ton, which gives you access to tons of organic polymer. Along with the northwest mountain being right next door for any metal or obsidian needs, I doubt you'll need that much obsidian with the amount of penguins that you're going to find in this area. Now, all these islands have different structural components to them. Now, I've built on this one because I actually really prefer this island over any of the others. Now, they all have all different kinds of things, so go and look and see kind of how one would fit your needs. Now, I like water dinosaurs, and this one has a great parking spot for a Mosasaurus. As you can see, this hole kind of comes in and protects it from anything that might be on the outside. I've never seen anything dangerous in these areas, so it's not really something to worry about. Other than that, if you're looking to house other kinds of water dinosaurs, you might find these shelves and compartments along the bottom of this area really helpful. If I swing out to the front here, we'll actually see a shelf that you can park a plesiosaur or something of that like kind of into here. Sharks also fit really well into these holes and crevices and actually give them safety from the roof. So this is it in daytime and that was number four, the ice islands. And the convenience here is horrible but the safety is great. So it's kind of a trade-off. Alright, and on to number three. I call it the Northeast Waterhole. It's like this little pit of water right in the Northeast area, kind of between three mountains. So that 
means you're gonna be able to get a lot of metal from this area you can go to all different mountains for this you can also go out to the Carno Island as you can see it's only right up northeast from here and you can go to that cave for chitin and all that kind of stuff also you can get tons of really good dinosaurs out there and you don't have to worry about them coming back here to harm you so this is a really cool area I can see so many different kinds of building ideas and I'm surprised that no one has built on it on this server actually now this has a a really cool rock face that's going to protect pretty much three quarters of your whole area. Uh, you're going to have to block off a couple areas, but you can actually just take this whole valley under control with just a few well placed gates. Now, you also got your own little supply of water in the middle so you never have to worry about farming or anything like that you're not gonna have to use water reservoirs in this area and you're also gonna be pretty decently close to where the swamp will go now coming in to number two is the stone isle now obviously pretty much everyone knows of this area this is one of the biggest and coolest areas in arc and there's just so much you can do with it. You can build bases on all these little areas, just a few of them. You can block off the whole island. You can just kind of go crazy with this. This person has built on top of here, and it has a lot of cool features to it as well. As you can see, this is just kind of like an example of what you can do. There's this little water hole kind of right in the middle here, which you can use as kind of like your middle area so that you have water and you can kind of keep a couple cool dinosaurs like... I don't know, turtles or alligators or something like that. You're going to also have all these little areas in here that you can find and kind of explore and build into. Now this would make for a really good base It's going to have natural and regular walls. So I'd be really excited if I was going to be starting a server where this was a free spot. Now. As for metal for this area, it actually has kind of its own little supply of, of metal. The whole south area is really, really void of metal. Now, in that direction I'm pointing right now is going to be the kind of... It, it's actually a hill. It doesn't have any elevation markers or anything like that. But it will have enough metal for you to get what you need. Alright, now this brings us in to base location number one. Now, I call this the metal platform because... That's pretty much what it is. It's this pillar of rock. As you can see, I don't know any natural formations that actually look like this, um, but it's right in this area, and as you can see, it's just this huge rock structure. And at the top, you're going to find a large amount of metal. Not like a ridiculous amount, but for a personal base or something like that, it's totally enough. Now, you can kind of block out this area in a lot of different ways. I would actually kind of do a, cir a total circle around this and actually make that the, the kind of middle point of my base if I was building over this area. But you also have the other kind of cliff that this person has built on over there too as well. But this metal one is so cool because you can get just... Basically all you have to do is fly up here. You, might, you could even build an elevator all the way to the top. Heck, with all the elevator that, or with all the uh, metal that you can get, you might as well build as many elevators as you can. So you can actually block off this whole area of your own little stream running through here. And like I said, you've got this other platform, this one here, and then you've got oh man, I mean, there's a floating tree. And every time I come over here, there's a floating tree. So I think that kind of comes with the property as well. But if you come over to this backside, you're also going to have a waterfall. So this has everything. It has metal. It has a close. Uh, it's pretty close to the volcano, pretty much right on the side of the volcano. So you can get a good amount of obsidian and all that. And it's actually centrally located, so you can get to tons of different areas. All right, and those were my top five base locations. As for now, at least things are always changing and stuff like that, and I'll definitely be looking out for some cool areas that you can throw some bases so that I can bring more to you. Otherwise, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more content, and you guys have a great rest of your day, and thanks for sticking in.